Welcome back guys, it's Monday morning. Today is our skill tutorial. So we're gonna start with a warm up. So we're gonna try and get the blood going through our body. You should feel a little bit tired. Then we're gonna do a stretch and then we're gonna focus on today's skill and I'll run through some different training progressions for you to develop that. So first things first, our warm up. We're gonna start with some jogging on the spot. So nice, easy jogging. Make sure you've got a little bit of room around you. I'm in my living room here, so if you're in the garden, your living room, kitchen, as long as there's no one too close either side of you, if your family's joining in, and you're not too close to any walls or anything, you can bump. So keep running, keep running, that's it. Keep going, good. So we're gonna do a little bit of jogging to get warm. On the spot, so you don't need loads of space. So it's quite, quite convenient to do in the house. Jogging, 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 good, good. Right, spin around on the spot. So not traveling side to side, so you're not bumping your brothers and sisters. And right, go the other way, go the other way. Good, good. Okay, this time we're gonna run as fast as we can on the spot for five seconds. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five. Slow back down to a jog. Boy, when you're going fast, five seconds last forever. Keep going, keep going. I hope you all had a good weekend. Keep those feet jogging. Good. Okay, we're gonna go as fast as we can again. One more time. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five. Back to jogging, good, good. Okay, when I say sit down, so sit down really quickly. Make sure you don't go on anything too hard. I've just got a small rug underneath me, but if you can carpet or rug, something softer than hard floor. Sit down. Ah, too slow, too slow, back up, back up, jogging, are you ready? Only when I say sit down, ready, sit down, no, too slow, too slow, you took ages then, again, come on, run, run, stretch jerks, what are you doing, get up, stretch jerks, so arms up to the sky, reach in, oh, you see jump, good, I want ankles together, arms up, good, and now we're looking for tuck jumps, all those knees coming up really high to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, keep jogging. Okay, so this time we're going to do jumping jacks, not to be confused with star jumps. Jumping jacks when our arms and legs go out and back in. So we're going to do those ten times. Ready? Go. One, two, nice straight arms. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, this time we're going to do five star jumps. Now, we do this loads in the gym. We try and tell the difference between the two. So you can tell your parents if they're doing it wrong. This is a star jump. Open and close before you get back down to the floor. So we're going to do five. You ready? Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four. Five, good, okay, back to running. Last time, we're gonna do five seconds as fast as you can. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, and sit down. Oh, well done, give your legs a little shake, guys. Shake, 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 and shake your legs in here. Shake them up, shake them up, Whoa. and stand up on your feet. That is the warm up part done. Next, the stretch. Okay, the stretch. Legs open, circle the arms backwards. Make sure you're not too close to anything. Big circles, good. And then swing them up, and big circles forwards. Lovely, nice big circles, fantastic. Good. And now we're gonna put one arm up, one arm down, up really high, down really low, and swing them up and down. Good, one, two, three, four, five. And now across your chest, we're stretching our arms and back in between our shoulder blades. Here, good, keep reaching out wide. Good, and now this time, swing your arm behind you and try and reach right far behind you, far as you can, far as you can. Reach, look down the arm. Three, four, five. And now, keeping those legs open and straight, swing across the floor, one, two, Three, four, five, and now swing through your legs, and then bring your arms forward with a nice flat back. It's called a table stand. So through and up. One, two, 
Three, good. You can surely feel the back of the stretch just on the back of your legs there. Three, four, five. Fantastic. Okay. Sit down on your bottoms. Hopefully you can remember your shapes. So we've got a tuck. Chest up, shoulders up, knees and feet together. Pike, legs straight, keeping those shoulders up. And straddle, legs open wide, nice and straight legs, arms out. So we'll do those again, ready? Tuck, pike, straddle. And again, tuck, pike, straddle. A little bit quicker, make sure you're concentrating. Tuck, pike, tuck, pike, straddle, pike, tuck. Not bad, not bad, it's all that well then. Good, okay. Can you balance on your bottom? So you're going to stay on your bottom, keep your knees and feet together, and just lift them off and stay there. Good, good. Balance, keep looking forwards. If you're trying to balance on whatever you're doing, it always helps to just pick one small thing in front of you. A bit of fluff on the carpet, on the floor, or something on the wall, just keep looking at it. And pike. Nice straight legs. And straddle. Lovely, well done. Okay, next stretch. Feet together, pull your ankles in as far as you can. Try and get your knees to touch the floor. Keeping those shoulders up. Little bounces of the knees. Good. And now we're going to try and get our nose right down to our toes. Now when you're stretching, you've got to go as far as you're able to go. So don't push yourself to where it's hurting too much. Just a little bit of a stretch you need to feel. So nose down. Good, nose right down, and into a straddle set. Give your legs a little shake, all the way out. So, nice wide legs, and straight. Put our arms up, and we're going to go down onto one foot, all the way down like this, and up. Then on the other leg, and up, and then we're going to go straight down the middle, and up. So we're going to do that three times, all the way around three times. Try and keep these arms by your ears because this here is really important for a cartwheel. It's the bit you do upside down. So, ready, go. Left leg, right leg, down the middle, one, and again. To the middle, down, two, and down the middle. That's the second time, the last time. Left leg, right leg, down the middle. Now keep those arms up. We're going to go just up and down the middle three times. Really go as far as you're able to go. Go one and up. Keeping those legs straight. Two and up. Three and up. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Move your legs to the middle. Okay. So I want ankles together. Keeping this chest up. Arms up straight. And we're going to go up and down the middle five times, keeping our arms touching our ears. One, and up. Two, and up, keep those legs really straight. Three, and up. Four, and up, and one more right down, come on. Five, fantastic, well done guys. Okay, last one, we're gonna go in a straddle stand, and we're gonna bend one leg. So keep your feet still, and just bend your one leg. You can use your hands to balance to start with. Now my knee is in the same direction as my foot and my heel is flat on the floor. The other leg is straight. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this side, but instead of moving your feet, keep your feet still and just push your body over to the other side. Again, knee bent, pointing the same way as my foot, heel on the floor, opposite leg straight. And switch. Good, and switch, and switch, and now, if you can, you can try and take your hands off, and you're gonna push up, and switch. Good, good control, and again. Two, and again, last one. Three, fantastic, lie down on your tummies, hands by your chest, look up, look up. Look down, look to the left. Try to keep those heels together behind you. And the right. Now from here, final part of the stretch, let's see if we can jump to our feet. So just jump. Good, good, let's do it again. This is really useful for vault when we're doing our squat on onto the vault. So, hands down, looking forwards, 
You're going to push on your hands, tuck your knees up towards your chin, get your feet on the floor. One, two, three, up, and arms up, and that's the stretch jump. Fantastic, well done. Okay, guys, the skill tutorial part of today's session. Today, this week, we're working on rocking in a ball. Now, that might sound difficult for some of the younger ones, easy for some of the older ones, but I'll do as many progressions as I can to, to accommodate as many people as I can. And on Wednesday this week, uh, there's a video uh, being released, which is me in the gym just basically playing around and showing you how this rock, even at its most basic form, is essential for things like forward rolls, backward rolls, and I'm doing back rolls for handstand, returns, and also dive rolls, which is a forward roll, uh, really, really, really high in the air, and I've made a big, big platform, I'm going to try and see how high I can dive roll. So uh, come back Wednesday to see that. So, moving on with our rocking, okay, really important, you've got a nice, strong core. So, we start on our bottom, now you've got to be really careful that nothing's too close behind you, and that you are on carpet, or a mat, or a rug, because we don't want you to bump your head. So, we're going to start in this position, our tuck position, we're going to rock back, and that. So that is the first stage of the skill today, rocking. Now, we test for this on our targets from the level one, so reception in year one. Okay, so this is their first challenge. We definitely want them practicing this. If they can do it, fantastic. Let's just do five. One, and up. Try not to let go of your legs and use your hands. Two, three, good, keep that chin in. Four, last one, five, good. Now, if you find that difficult, you can help your child by standing on the sides. You can put your one hand behind their back, one hand underneath their legs by here, and just sort of guide them. The younger ones, we do it with three-year-olds, but they tend to throw their head back. So just make sure, if you are doing it with a younger child, you keep their head in, okay? If they are finding that really, really, really difficult as well, you can support it in front of them, and try and hold their hands, and you can rock with their hands, but just encourage them to keep their chin on their chest. Now, if that is easy, we also assess the next stage for this is rock and stand up. And if you watch back Wednesday, you'll see that the next skill this goes into. So rock and up and stand up. Now, when you stand up, what are we looking for? We want our feet together, and we don't want our knees going on the floor. So and we don't want to use our hands either. That's the challenge. So rock, and think of coming back to that position there, and then up. Common problems to look out for are using your hands. That's what we want to try and avoid. Or crossing your feet. So we want to try and get out of that habit. Or putting one knee onto the floor, and then standing. So just keep an eye on those. We want feet together, knees together. Rock. And up. That's the second part of a forward roll. Now, if you're finding that difficult, if you can do the rock, but you find that part difficult, two things that can help. Um, somebody standing in front of you, just encouraging you to reach for their hands. So in this section here, I would now be reaching for someone's hands. And you can help them to start with, and you can sort of back off. And as they get a little bit better at it, you just be a target. They don't even have to hold your hands. They can just be a target. They can reach for you and then they'll be doing it on their own. Also, if that's still difficult, you can do it on a platform. So I haven't got anything here, but if you were to have a sofa or something low on the floor, sort of this height, if they're able to rock on it or even just practice standing up from a seated position, so both legs here, that will develop the strength because the hardest part of this is from here, there, and then standing, because that's a really deep squat. So if they were already in this position, that is going to develop the muscles in order to get up. Also, think of shoulders over your toes. That helps rock, shoulders over. That helps the balance, okay? An exercise you can do to practice this stand up is just hands on your head, squat back and up. Back and up, nice deep squat, get used to that. If that's easy, you can actually try legs together. This is really tricky, but this sort of position here, children tend to be quite good at this, so try and keep feet together, Ankles flat on the floor, and up. So that's something else. And you can help your child just by balancing with their hands. They can even do it with their hands on the wall or facing the wall, using the wall to balance. 
So that's the second progression, the rock and stand up. The final progression we're going to do today, for those that are finding that easy, is rock and stand up, but only standing up with one leg. Okay. So what we do is we start on our bottom, same position, we're going to rock and stand up with one leg, and that enables us to go into another skill. So I'll do it one more time. Again, it's all the same technique. You want your shoulders over your foot, but one leg is bent, but the other leg is straight. And you want to try and stand up with it as high as possible. You can try it on either leg. Most people tend to have one leg better than the other. So, rock, one leg, then you can go on to your next skill. If you can stand up with both legs easily, but you find it difficult to stand up with one leg, plenty of ways you can practice this. You can hold on to something, and you can do one leg, down and up. Develop that strength in the one leg. Down and up. Try and be as controlled as you can. Work it on both legs. Okay? Right, guys. So there's three things to practice. Rocking in a ball. Rocking and standing up without using your hands. Or rocking and standing up with one leg. You've got a week to practice until next Monday's tutorial. But if you have a look out on Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock, I'll release a video which is myself in the gym messing around showing you some harder things that the rock comes into. If you're practicing your rocks or any, any gymnastics or anything at home, get your parents to take a picture, send it in to me, and I will put it as a slideshow before my next video so everyone else can see what you've been doing at home. I hope you've had fun today, guys. Go and practice. One. Uh, two. <laughs> Three.